and welcome to University of Tennessee at Martin's West Star 2012 Leadership Class, better known as the Dream Team. We are here today with a spotlight on leadership in Henry County for the Legacy Library. I am class member Lisa Castile and Chief Financial Officer of Henry County Medical Center. My leadership spotlight today is with Dr. Jean Goulish, orthopedic surgeon and owner of Henry County Orthopedic Surgery and Sports Medicine. For a brief introduction of him, let me tell you about him. Dr. Goulish, as an orthopedic surgeon, served in the U.S. Army as rank of major from 1969 to 1971. From there, he was both surgeon and instructor in California and various places in East Africa. He is well accomplished and has achieved distinguished awards such as Outstanding Medical Student, Orthopedic Educational Awards, American Medical Association Educational Awards, and Sports Physician of the Year. Dr. Goulish came to Paris in 1994 and has developed the service of orthopedic and sports medicine in Henry County and the regional area. Because of his dedication, people are treated in their own community, not having to drive for hours to the nearest physician, for we are in a rural area. He also is a great supporter of education and agriculture through teachings, farming, his volunteerism, and contributions to the 4-H programs. He is a photographer and loves to travel all over the world. But I have found personally that any time that I need him, his response is always, what can I do to help and how can I help you? So with that, good morning, Dr. Goulish, and welcome to West Star. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. And we'll start with some questions. Dr. Goulish, again, thank you for this interview today. You're welcome. And uh, let's start with some business questions. If you can describe your philosophy on business for us. Uh, my philosophy has been to do the best you can do and in fact do as, as good as it can be done or don't do it. Uh, particularly I'm an orthopedic surgeon, that means I'm a doctor. So I think that caring for the patient exceeds checking out their insurance or how, it's, how I'm going to get paid. Uh, basically, that's how I've done it and it's worked. Excellent, excellent. I know that that brings a lot to our community when we see all patients and uh, treat everyone. Um, can you describe changes that you have seen in your company or business over the years? Well, I started out uh, with two exam rooms and one employee and now I have uh, 10,000 square feet and I'm not sure how many employees, but I think it exceeds 20. So the uh, practice has grown uh, remarkably. We have two other orthopedic surgeons in this practice, as well as uh, two physician assistants, technicians, uh, surgical assistants, and x-ray. Uh, we've expanded what we do greatly. We do DEXA scans to ch check out uh, osteoporosis, we have our own x-ray department, and downstairs the hospital has its own physical therapy department. So pretty much uh, we have become the Walmart or perhaps some higher quality store of orthopedics. Hopefully they can get everything they need right here. And we know this from the hospital's perspective as well. We've had so many folks to come here seeking out their orthopedic care not only from our own community and the surrounding communities, but from other states as well. We've had folks all the way from Nevada to come here uh, because of the great orthopedic program that we have. So thank you again, Dr. Goulish, for really spearheading this service line. We have had uh, people, many people from areas that have other orthopedists like Jackson and uh, Humboldt and Huntington. and uh, So that, that makes me happy. And as you said, we have had patients from other states as well as other countries. We've had uh, people come from Africa and England to see us here. And we're about to see a kid from uh, Dominica, which I guess is near the Dominican Republic, who is being sent for us to evaluate her amputated leg. The hospital has been nice enough to allow us to admit her without cost, and the anesthetist has, uh, the anesthetist anesthesia department have said they will give the anesthesia if we need to. So so that's really nice. That makes me happy. 
I've heard a rumor mill that you've treated a few celebrities as well. <laughs> and we may not can disclose names, but I heard that about you too. <laughs> it's mostly rumors, but they won't go away. <laughs> okay. um, what influenced your success as a business leader and then also as a community leader? Well, I think my love of orthopedics has uh, had a great role to play in that. Uh, I, I truly love what I do. I love it as much now as the day I left my residency. I love to see people getting well. I love to see them walking on the knees or the hips that I put in. And I, I think maybe that is, is seen by them as being more than just the guy who puts it in. I, I care about them and how they uh, function. Uh, and I think that has perhaps at least contributed to my success uh, as in my business. Uh, I also love this community. It's uh, my home. And I have many other interests, and so the, I, those interests spill over, and I find myself uh, arranging for the beef cow show at the fair, and, uh, we, and as you know, we have a cattle ranch. And, so the, the 4-H and FFA kids come out there and, and do trail rides in the ranch and hopefully learn something about cattle. I love photography, so I've taught a couple photography classes. And uh, presently, uh, my new avocation is becoming a writer, so I do that also. So all those things kind of spill over and uh, become part of the community. Uh, several years ago, I was asked to be the director of the uh, Henry County Parish Youth Orchestra, and I said, I can't be a director, I can't even play an instrument. But <laughs> then I realized what they wanted was the director of the group to uh, keep this good thing going. So also I'm involved in that, and, and that's a lot of fun. That is just excellent that you bring so much and give so much to our community. Um, let's move on to community and ask a few questions here. Uh, can you describe some of the changes that you have experienced since you've been in our community? Well, I, I think mostly I see it through the eyes of a physician and how that has changed. When I came here, the general surgeon was still doing broken hip fractures. Uh, since I've been here, uh, we have had a tremendous addition to our medical staff of very qualified people. Now we have three general surgeons, we have a good vascular surgeon, an excellent urologist who is using the Da Vinci machine. Uh, virtually every specialty is represented and represented by very good people. And I think that is a spin-off from the growth and the foundation that you've laid with orthopedics in this community. With, with the growth of that program, uh, it has led to so many other needs that it's assisted with recruitment of other physicians, the ones that you just spoke of, and Again, overall growing and developing all types of services related to the medical field here. Well, I'm not sure how much I contributed, but if I contributed something, that's good. Is there an event that happened in your past that caused our community to be successful as it is? Uh, I think uh, probably two things. One, which I've already alluded to, that I'm obsessed with my profession. I love orthopedics and I love taking care of people. The other thing though is uh, I worked in a mission hospital in uh, Tanzania and I go there frequently and that, that really put me in touch with what I do and what medicine is all about. I was, I was not in our system, I didn't have to worry about insurance or when the patient needs to be discharged and I wasn't in their system either. Uh, so I kind of owned, I was there for the love of the patient and I'm doing the work that I needed. It, it showed me uh, how much we have here and how little they have there. And the orthopedic problems were overwhelming and the equipment we had was virtually nothing when I started. And uh, yet yeah, th those were such great experiences that I think they added to what my concept of what I should be and what I should do in my community. And that's so touching to, to take the talents that you have and bless other people's lives. That's very touching. Um, what have you seen or experienced over your professional life that had an impact on your community? 
Well, I think uh, essentially what I have mentioned, also uh, the great uh, advances, and again I, I want to talk mostly about orthopedics because that's what I'm familiar with, but you know, most of the stuff I do today, I wasn't trained to do in my residency. We didn't do total joint replacements then. Uh, we didn't do arthroscopic procedures. So the great advancements in medicine and, and us, the medical community of Henry County, keeping up with that has uh, added greatly to this community, community until we're now looked at as a referral center that's why we get people from other areas coming here. Very true, very true. What do you want to accomplish with the rest of your life for this community? Well, I'd like to continue to be a, a good surgeon and a, and a contributor to the community in any way that I can. Okay. Well, let's move on to some personal questions. Um, do you remember an event that happened in your youth that had a major impact on your life? Well. Uh, I, I was uh, raised by my grandmother for the first five and a half years of my life and uh, I think that was kind of the thing that makes me different from my siblings. Uh, she taught me uh, about life and what it meant to be loved and uh, I felt very comfortable with her and uh, I think that led me to what I have become since, or at least contributed to what I have become since. And I think, you know, also genetics. I, I like people, I love animals, I love the out of doors, and uh, so uh, that also contributed to what I am. If you could leave one message to future generations, what would that be? I would say uh, you need to uh, find where your niche is and then go with gusto to get it. And, don't just see your work as a job, see it as some, something that you love to do and do it well. Good enough is never good enough. Excellent. I think that is something that is difficult for folks to grasp today, that that is a value that I see in you that I instill in my own heart and I just want you to know what a mentor you are even to me. Oh, thank you. To see that. Um, can you describe your philosophy on life? Well, I think you should uh, live uh, life to the fullest. You should uh, live life, life gluttonously, taking big bites and enjoying every morsel. Uh, you should not talk about being tired. You can sleep when you're dead. Uh, you, you should uh, try almost everything at least once. Uh, and you should live your life so that other people feel that they can trust you. How do you want us to remember remember you? Uh, probably as a funny little orthopod who <laughs> hangs around the hospital a lot. <laughs> okay. Well, having said that, do you have any funny stories you would like to share with us? Well, I wanted to uh, uh, tell uh, two. One is uh, with my experience in Africa. After I'd been there uh, a few times, I uh, they're great singers, and we would uh, take a break. There was no there was no concept of time there, you know. If if the eight o'clock case started at nine thirty, that was fine. And but we'd always have time for a break, so we'd go to the uh, sterile room and uh, sit around there and the same, And it was kind of not a brightly lit room. And there was they would start to sing, you know, and pretty soon the whole group of them would uh, be singing. Uh, and so I thought, well, I need to teach them some American songs. And so I was, I was trying to teach them American songs, and it was obvious to them and to me that I can't sing. Uh, so uh, they, uh, that made me a member of their tribe after I'd been there several times. And they gave me a name, which is Machungwa Kushilaja, which means orange man who can't sing. <laughs> so uh, I, the, the orange came from the fact that the scrubs that had the fewest holes in them were orange, so I was always trying to get those to wear when I operated. So that, that was kind of funny. Well, again, uh, I certainly appreciate you sharing your time with us today. Um, this has been so enlightening, and we are fortunate in Henry County to have you as a community leader um, in our community as well as on the healthcare scene 
And again, I personally appreciate you and everything you've done for us and uh, this interview today. It's been my pleasure. I, I have uh, loved living in Henry County and uh, I have gotten more than I have given, I'm sure. Thank you. Okay.